myself in, in terms of this subject in a second, but I noticed that as I get up, I had hundreds of things I wanted to say when I was sitting down there, and as I stood up, I, I've forgotten nearly all of them. I want to make that point because it's the impact of your presence and being here in front of you that has had that tremendous, my tummy is churning, I've got slight shivers, so I've got a, a very visceral response to the fact that we are face to face and that you will have thoughts and feelings as I do and that you might judge me. Now, I want to create my qualification both as a professional, so I must, I, can anybody, everybody hear me by the way? Am I loud enough? Um, I'm a psychologist and a psychotherapist, that's my background in terms of my training and, and, and education. I'm a professional researcher, you, you may have bumped into my name, um, from time to time. But I, I think that that physical presence is something I, I, I think more, is more and more important. I'm publishing on it fairly soon. And I've studied the online world, and I'm, my qualification to speak on this topic is from my experience. So. I have a website, I get about a thousand visitors a month. I blog, I, I, blog, I blog both on research matters, but I also blog on what I think is the most threatening issue in our society today, the growth of inequality. I also tweet, 300 tweets, and, and, I, and I link my Twitter to, to my blog. So I'm very active on it, I love it. But is it what I'm really interested in? Is it the thing that I wake up at one o'clock in the morning thinking, oh fuck, either oh fuck yeah or oh fuck no, about? On the whole, it's not. Because it operates at the level of the professional, you know, we, we, we put out professional information out there, level one I call the level of professional, largely transactional. Here I am, I'm, an, I'm a consultant, I do this, you know, do you want to buy me, Con contact me here at the professional level, and also level two, which is where we're at now, which I call the public level. So this is the conversation that we have in public. But all kinds of norms and conventions surround our public. I, I realize that I just swore twice. I thought, oh my god, I promise not to do that, because it goes on these films, and then blah, blah, blah. You know, my reputation is whatever. Um, so the public re le level of communication is very, is very um, subject to judgment and criticism and convention. But the levels that really turn me on, the levels of communication where I think the juice in life is, and that's why I've made my career trying to get to these levels with people, other people, are the personal. What's going on in John's personal reality and Stuart's? You know, has Stuart left the room in your mind since, since we've been here? Have you been out? back home or to somewhere else, or have you managed to stay with us all the time. So personal reality is really interesting. It's where the wheels turn and where everything goes on. And then there's private. That's the stuff you really do wake up in the middle of the night thinking about. The feelings attached to the bigger emotions, love, anger, shame, all of those things that really turn wheels in our life. I've studied and, and made my professional life around being able to make contact with people's personal and private worlds in conditions of safety, in conditions where there's permission for people to do themselves differently. Now while there's some of that going on online, um, I think it's still largely small talk online. So I, I, you know, I have 300 Facebook friends, I'll talk about one friend, X. X post pictures, a lot of pictures, 147 pictures last week. And in every picture, pretty much, X is hanging out with people in a wacky way. <laughs> and when I see X, as I did a few days ago, do you know what strikes me when I look into her eyes? Not that she's having a wacky fun time, but that she's lonely. So in other words, there is something out there on Facebook, but it's not the truth of this person. It's not the private experience that she's having, and it's a wonderful compensation mechanism for her. So I do value it, and 
and see that she gets a sense of managing an impression of herself as a happy bunny. Yeah, and a lot of what's going on on Facebook is, is, is like that. You know, it's impression management, which is fine, but the people that pay me, if they do, large amounts of money are not paying me to give me, give them what other people's impression management is saying. They're paying me to try and get beneath the surface to, to find out why, why and what people are doing and, and what motivates them and what drives them. And sometimes I do it well and other times I, I miss because it's a, an imperfect science. But I don't believe there's much space for the personal and the private in the online world mostly because it's too public. And it's valuable. And it's a tremendous social enrichment and it's absolutely great. But if my work will disappear if we come to accept that level of transaction as all there is, if it's just the impression management that goes on on Facebook or whatever other social site you're on, then we will lose the depth in our communication. We will lose you know, the, the reality of being physically together. The reality of your private world meeting my private world and me learning from that and, and being changed by you. I'm not much changed by my Facebook engagement, although I'm titillated by it. So I get the odd moment of glee or the moment of... But also, most people are trying to persuade me that they're reading erudite stuff. Have you noticed that the latest groove on Facebook is to link you to Guardian articles and you know, what have you, so that people look like they're not just photos and I'm sitting in whatever cafe, but they're also reading all this stuff. Again, it's impression management. So my case is not that this stuff isn't valuable, it's great, but that it doesn't really contact the levels of personal and private where human subjective experience is truly lived and what makes us all, I hope, interested and fascinating. That's all I have to say.